guys, it's Brithok here, and today I'm going to talk about Octavia. Octavia is the new upcoming Warframe, known up until now as Bardframe. D finally released a small little web website where you can read about Octavia. Her abilities, she got a small comic book. The she got a small little comic book right here in the front page, or in the top front page and as you scroll down you can see her name her small description and a full description of her abilities well not full but these are this is the description of her abilities so the first ability is called mallet in which it rhythmically um, rhythmically rhythmically sorry uh, beat and damage enemies draw and drawing their attention It'll be a good ability, it'll, it'll be a good crowd control ability, I'm sorry. And what it says here, damage inflicted on the mallet increases its lethality. Yeah, this ability is going to be really, really good, just like Banshee's resonating quake ability, as where it can be for crowd control or damage dealing. Next ability is Resonator. Resonator launches a rollerball that charms foes to follow it. Th this is also a pretty good ability. I'm wondering how the roller is going to um, act. Is it going to be like Atlas, uh, what is it called? Atlas Rumblers, or how? Is it going to be just, just like another scepter? Combined with the mallet to create a roving ball of sonic destruction. So it can either be for crowd control or damage as well. So another, another, another uh, way that we can see Octavia being a damage dealing and crowd controlling Warframe which is really really good in my opinion third ability is metronome now this is where the fun part of Octavia rolls in this is like the small um, fun thing the less um, the less um, serious and functional thing it's mainly for buff it's mainly for fun so it grants buffs to allies who do certain actions Timed jumps offer a speed buff. Crouching, crouching on the beat grants cloaking. Firing rhythmically bestows multi shot. And timed melee swings buff damage. Yeah, with with what I'm going to make, this is gonna be really really hard to follow. <laughs> amp. So amp pretty much gives you and your allies a lot of strength. I mean damage, not strength, and it amplifies the damage and range, well, doubles the damage and range of the mallets, or all nearby mallets, so it means you can cast more than one. Th this is going to be one of those Warframes, huh? Also her design is finally set in, as it was before. We can see her alt helmet um, here. I think it's her alt helmet, I mean, it doesn't really look like this one much. Or it does, only from the front. Oh well. So, we can also see the Pandero and the Tenora alt weapons, or secondary... Ugh, sorry. We can see the Pandero and Tenora, which are the two weapons she um, comes with. I guess these two weapons are signature weapons. The Pandera, the Pandero is um, a semi-automatic pistol, and its alternate fire pretty much does whatever McCree does with his secondary ability in Overwatch. He pretty much shoots out all the remaining bullets from the magazine. I like I like this. I really like this. The Tenora is an automatic rifle. Um, ramps up the fire rate and accuracy the longer you hold fire. Hmm. This this is kinda like a, um, the the calm the the shotgun primary calm in which the more you hold down the trigger, the more damage it starts to deal, the more fire rate it deals, the more ammo it takes. So this is pretty good. And only that this is a rifle that is a bit more accurate and it gains even more accuracy the more you shoot. And adds a fire rate. That's, that's pretty good. Alternate fire is a single powerful charged shot. Again, this weapon, I, I can see myself using this and this weapon, both of them, a lot, since it's high noon. 
Also, the new Captura mode is coming in. In this mode, you can pretty much capture your Warframe in different poses, situations, different locations, um, alongside some enemies, and you control it. It's a cinematic mode that you control yourself. So, in conclusion, um, Octavia is going to be a sort of... I mean, this is my, this is what I'm getting all, from all of this. Octavia is going to be a buffer frame with strength, um, I mean, with damaging abilities as well, and crowd control. She might be a jack of all trades like Loki, or she could be like Oberon and uh, Neja. Well, not Neja. Neja actually does it pretty right. But she could be like Oberon, and you know how Oberon, he is pretty good, but. At the same time, many other frames do whatever he does much better. I guess we'll see once she comes out, and she's supposed to come out anytime soon in the next following days. And yeah, that's Octavia. Um, I really am hyped for this Warframe, actually. When they announced Nidus, I pretty much thought to myself that, oh, okay, so they were going to delay a really bad frame for a, an even better one, which is Nidus. And then they showed out, they showed some of Octavia's um, abilities or talked more about her and it got me hyped since she is a music revolved Warframe. And you know how music goes usually, music is, music is fun. But she is going to take the game into a new level in which the game will not be as serious as it used to be, or as it is now, I guess. She'll add a more fun value to the game, a bit of a different style you can play. She is going to be a pretty different Warframe. And I always enjoy differences and new things in this amazing game. So, anyways guys, I'll see you in the next video, and have a good day.